welcome in the previous two lectures we have studied about in special matrices that are is hermitian skew hermitian and symmetric and non symmetric matrices so today i am going to start with some basic definitions of matrices or some rules or some properties of two vectors so first let me define i have uh, defined in the last lecture a very short leaves so let me rewrite here that is commutator relation commutator brackets so in commutator brackets we have seen that two types of commutator relations are there if i write a matrix a comma b in this square bracket then it is a b minus b a and we have seen that if there are two matrices a and b then a b the product of matrix a and b and the product of matrix b of a is not equal to in general it may be equal but in general the matrix multiplication is non commutable so if if i write there are two matrices a and b and write in this manner in this bracket notation that this is called commutator bracket okay and there is one anti commutator bracket a comma b if it is written like this then it is ab plus ba sometimes this notation i i follow these notations but sometimes uh, this may be written as like bracket a comma b and it is minus and this is same bracket a comma b and this is plus so don't confuse with this type of notation so this was uh, this i have discussed commutator brackets in the previous lecture i have just concluded it here then now today what i want to start is uh, that you have already know but i must start it that is dot product of two vectors see now i am not talking about the real vectors or complex vector so if if in real in real vectors you know that if there are two vectors then their dot product is given by the components that is a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 where a1 b1 a1 and bi is are the components of vector so this is given the dot product okay its name is dot product what happens if this a b and c are complex and what does the name of dot product is there so suppose that a and b the vectors its components are complex complex ais and bis the components are complex then the same product the dot product is called inner product okay inner product of two vectors dot product is called as inner product and it is defined as a dagger that is a vector dagger and b i have defined the dagger operation in the previous two lectures in the last to last lecture of the same matrices topic so if you don't know what dagger is go through the link is in the description box so if it is dagger operation see i have a vector a that is written as a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap in matrix notation that vector a is a col column vector that is a1 a2 and a3 its components are similarly the vector b can be written as b1 b2 and b3 a common vector then how can we how to write a dagger see a dagger you know the dagger operation is complex means transpose and then com transpose plus complex conjugate so a dagger a dagger is written first you transpose it so it will be become a1 a2 and a3 then complex conjugate take its complex conjugate a star represents complex conjugation then the uh, inner product definition can be uh, written as like this a dagger b is written as a1 star a2 star and a3 
and there is a matrix B1, B2, B3. So it is A1 star B1 plus A2 star B2 plus A3 star B3. So basically that is a definition of inner product of two vectors whether the A or B belongs to real or complex this definition is always true always true and this you will see many times when you study quantum mechanics always there are two wave vectors uh, and you have to find the dot product that is the inner product of that two uh, in finite dimension when you will study then you will encounter these types of things the second is to norm what is the normalization condition for vectors that is also very important when you study quantum mechanics because there are wave vectors that are given and you have to normalize them. So let us have here what is the normalization condition of vectors. So if normalization condition is that if there is a vector A whose magnitude is mod of A and its direction in A cap you can write any vector in such components then if magnitude of A is equal to 1. So in real, if A has real components, then A vector is A dot A, that is the real vector. And if it is in complex, then A, that is modulus of A, then mod of A is given by under root. If A as are complex, then you can simply write the A dagger A, that is in real or complex, because if you are in real plane then it's complex trans transpose is same and for normalization for normalization this a dagger a must be equal to 1 okay so that is your basic definition that the modulus that the mod of any vector is equal to 1 so this is your uh, normalization condition and there is one more definition uh, which, I, which I want to tell here that is orthogonality condition. Orthogonality condition. Orthogonality condition means that there are no component of a vector on an another vector. Okay, both are independent of each other. So in this case, the dot product of two vectors a dot b is equal to 0, that is for real and for complex, what happens that dot product is defined as the inner product. So a dagger b, if this is equal to 0, then that is the orthogonality condition. See, these all inner product, normalization condition, orthogon orthogonality condition seems to be obvious here because you all have studied uh, this in your basic uh, class 12th and graduation syllabus. But this will be more complicated when you will go from finite dimension space to infinite dimension space. So I will recommend you uh, don't take it like very obvious you should work with these problems and there will you encounter the problems that uh, these are not obvious okay so today i just in this lecture i was only uh, i was only supposed to derive these three definitions and in the next lecture i will be dealing with orthogonal and unitary matrices so all the best